Hello friends, welcome to our channel. So today is going to be a long video on how we can install One UI 6 for our Samsung Galaxy S20 series for the normal regular S20, S20 Plus which I am currently using and S20 Ultra. This room is only going to work on S20 series. So we are going to divide this video into multiple parts. The first part is basically backing up everything of our data. And after that we will move on to unlocking the bootloader and of course if you have already unlocked the bootloader then you can skip by looking at the timestamps at the description box. After that we will install a recovery file and after installing a recovery file we will flash the ROM and boot into our device. So what we can do is first of all to back up our data right from our Samsung Galaxy device we can open up settings and once we open settings at the very top you'll see a Samsung option so go to the samsung option here and then from here you can go to samsung cloud from samsung cloud what you want to do from here is go to backup data and choose the data that you want to backup so that you can easily restore them later and then tap the backup now option now in my case i have already backed up my data the next thing we are going to do is we are going to unlock the bootloader. Now even before you try to unlock the bootloader, the first thing that you have to try to do is to simply try to go ahead and then enable developer options by scrolling down to the about phone section, going to software information and multiple tapping on the build number to enable developer options. Once you enable developer options, come back and at the bottom you'll find a new option known as developer options. So make sure to tap on developer options over here and from here you will find this option right here known as OEM unlocking. So you have to make sure to just enable this OEM unlocking and now go on about powering off your device and also make sure to turn on USB debugging and so on over here. Now for this we need to first power off our device and then boot into the download mode. To boot into download mode what we need is we need a type c usb cable where the other end should be connected to your laptop or computer so if you don't have a laptop or computer you cannot do this process so make sure that you have your computer with you so let me power off my s20 plus device first of all by pressing the power option here and just going ahead or pressing the power and the volume buttons at the same time and then just tapping the power off button. Now once we have powered our S20 Plus device, on the right hand side you can see volume up and volume down button. Make sure you press them at the same time. While pressing them, what I want you to do is just connect the cable that we connected to our computer where the other end should be connected to your computer and the other end to your phone. Once you do this, you'll see this type of pop-up that says a custom OS can cause critical issues and so on. Here you can see volume up and you can see volume up long press which is device unlock mode. Since we are going to unlock our bootloader, what we are going to do is we are going to long press the volume up button which is going to be on the right hand side of the screen. So let me go ahead and then do that as well. Now once you press the volume up button, you can see it will ask you for a confirmation over here that says volume up means yes, you have to unlock the bootloader and then if you select volume now, you will have to skip it. But of course, we want to just begin with the process so we will press the volume up button. Remember that this is going to reset everything so you have to back up your data before you do this. The resetting process will begin automatically and this is actually going to take quite a time itself so let us wait until this first boot has been completed and we will move on to the next process which will be on our computer screen. Now on this next step you will need your computer right? Now you have to download three things. First is the ROM itself which is called Extreme ROM 1 US 6 for your Samsung S20 series. Then other is TWRP file for your device depending upon which device you are using. And the other is the Odin which is compulsory to be able to flash TWRP. Now on our phone after we have unlocked our bootloader right what we have to do now is we have to boot into download mode again. And again this time as we told earlier make sure to just go ahead and then press the volume up and the volume down button at the same time like this while pressing that connect the cable that was connected to your computer just like this. Now this time again you will see this type of interface but this time instead of doing the long press like we did earlier what we are going to do is we are going to press the volume up button to boot into download mode. Now over here there are a couple of things that I want you to check. The first thing that you should check is the KG state is set to checking and not pre-normal because if it is set to pre-normal you will not be able to flash anything other than stock. So make sure it is set to checking. Now once you have done this let us move on to our computer screen. On our computer, open up Odin. 
make sure you have all your Samsung drivers downloaded here and then just go ahead and then just open up Odin like this. Once you have done this, if your Samsung drivers are properly and well connected, you will see this added option over here. Where first of all, you have to go to this options tab as you can see over here. And when you go to this options tab, over here you'll find one option that says auto reboot. Just turn off auto reboot because after we flash this TWRP file, we don't want our phone to reboot itself. So just go back here. Now here you can see different tabs, we're going to ignore all that but right here in the user data slot, you have to actually select the TWRP file that we downloaded along with the VB meta, this should be together. Once we have done that, just click on the start button. Now as you can see, it is showing successfully pass, if it says fail, make sure you update your drivers and do everything properly. Now on our phone, now this step is very very important, do not remove the cables. What you have to do is press the power and the volume down buttons for a while and when your screen goes blank, change the volume down button to the volume up button instantly to boot directly to recovery mode. We don't want to boot to our ROM because if you boot to our ROM, our data is going to get encrypted. So we if you want to leave it at decrypted from here directly we have to boot into recovery but as i told you first of all press the volume down and power button at the same time until the screen goes blank like this so let me go ahead and then do that as well and instantly when the screen goes blank what you have to do is press the power up button instantly and the volume down button just leave it like this until you see the twrp screen so let us go ahead and then wait until the twrp screen comes up and now just release the fingers here yeah. Now, there are a couple of steps that we want to do. First of all, we will go to wipe and then we will go to format data and now we will just type in yes and then hit the arrow button in order to go ahead and then wipe everything on our phone. Again, just come back and then type in yes to remove everything from our phone. Now what we have to do is while still connected, if your computer does not recognize, right? So just go to your computer and check if your S20 Plus device shows up over here. If it does shows up, it shows like this, then what you have to do is on your phone for once, just remove the cable once and then just tap on reboot and just reboot to recovery again and this will reboot you to our recovery. Now you have to transfer the ROM file that you downloaded on your computer using your cable again. So let us wait until this has been rebooted into recovery and then again what we are going to do is we are going to connect the cables and this time our laptop or computer will definitely recognize this device. So let me go ahead and check in the file manager tab and here you can see Galaxy S20. Here you can just go to TWRP folder here. So what we got to do now is first of all we're going to copy the file that we downloaded over here which is this extreme ROM file. We can just copy it go to our mobile device internal storage and then just paste it over here now once it's done pasting we're going to move to the installation process which i will show you but let this two load up and then actually successfully copy everything if you have an sd card by the way you don't have to do this process so i'm sure you know how to do this yourself now after that we have successfully copied the ROM file, go to select storage and select the internal storage from here and in the internal storage you'll find the ROM file that we copied which is called Extreme ROM 1 US 6 for S20 series. So just select that and now all you have to do is just tap on the swipe to confirm flash option. Now this might take a minute or two depending upon the size of the ROM that you are downloading. So let us wait until this process is complete and after this process you will be able to format the data and restart your device. Now our ROM has been successfully flashed, you will see there is no any type of errors with this. So first we are also just going to wipe the cache and Dalvik files just in case and after we have done that we are going to reboot to our system by tapping the reboot system option that you would be able to find on the TWRP screen. And now you can see, now you won't find device specific boot screen such as S20, S20 Plus because this ROM is for three different devices that is why it is hard for the developer to work on this and by the way all thanks to the developer whose name is Extreme XT, who happen to go ahead and then develop this ROM for the Galaxy S20 series. Now the ROM has been successfully set up. I'm also going to skip this setup process because I'm sure pretty much everyone all of knows already how to set up your ROM for the first time. So you can select setup manually like this and then just go ahead and connect to your internet and so on. 
So now the One UI 6 on our Galaxy S20 Plus has been successfully set up. As you can see the new font which is the big changes, the control panel as well which is one of the major changes and here if I go to settings I will also show you my software information. I will just scroll down to the about phone section here, go to software information and here you can see I have One UI 6 based on Android 14 for my Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus because S20 series will not be officially supported by Samsung anymore and as always thank you very much for watching since this is a new channel also make sure to stick with me not only for Samsung I'll also cover videos for other custom room and gadgets and so on so if you found this video helpful consider liking subscribing and commenting at least on a new channel so that other people can also watch this video